We're back. We're live. I'm Jay Fidel here on Think Tech Community Matters. Full disclosure, I have just graduated from, from the Orange Program at Stroud Medical Center. These are my friends and buddies. They know more about me than my wife does. <laughs> <laughs> so let me introduce to you the first three of our program today, which is the Orange Program at Stroud, OPS. <laughs> to my immediate left, Raylene Nolan. She's project director, program director, program director. for the Orange Program in Stroud. There are yes. other programs, Orange programs elsewhere. Yes, there's one up there. Okay, and uh, to her left, Michelle Tom, our favorite uh, uh, dietitian, our registered <laughs> dietitian. Yes. <laughs> I learned so much from you. Okay, uh, and then uh, Megan uh, Cacho, she is group support in the Orders Program at Stroud. Uh, Welcome to the show, all you guys. Thank you for having us. It's like a reunion, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got so close. I, I felt that I knew you. I know you forever. It's not just then or now. It's forever. You guys were bonded together. Yep. Fabulous program, fabulous program. Let, let me tell you what I see it as a, it's a program for people who are recovering from heart disease, but other medical, you know, things uh, that happen when you're getting old and weak, whatever. And this program reinvigorates you. It makes you find your health. Um, it makes you find your health uh, personally, you know, in terms of mindfulness and all that. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, Raylene is big in that one. Um, and we'll talk about that. And also in stress management, because stress kills. <laughs> You know, stress is really yeah. bad. And food, food is so important. I'm doing this in a sequence, you know. <laughs> this is a sequence. We met Tuesdays and Thursdays for four hours for nine weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was always this way. Uh, well, actually, the, the, the thing about the group support, that was at the end, right? The beginning yes. was the, uh, was the um, 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 exercise, exercise, which is very important. So they got a great facility, beautiful, clean, wonderful, um, and lots of water, you know. <laughs> Never go dehydrate, you know. Right. And, <laughs> Okay, and they got a kitchen there, and they cook food for you. Your dinner is thrown in. Fabulous. Thank you, HMSA. <laughs> and, and, and Michelle is in charge of that. She does yep. that. She makes the food. Part. Okay. And the, the third part is the stress management part. Wait. wait. Now it's the second part. <laughs> I see how quickly you forget. And the fourth part is, um, is, is the group. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're all, well, are they all the same? Really? Is one more important than the other? No. All the no, same. They're all the same. Yeah, and yeah. the program wouldn't be complete unless you have all four. Yes. Well, how do they play together? Well, you know, first of all, you do need to have your exercise, and you do need to have your good nutrition. And then the stress management helps you to deal with the stresses in your life because a lot of times people <laughs> will eat because of stress and they'll eat the wrong things. And then group support, a lot of people have things that are hidden inside of them or that they can't talk about, and this allows people to share their true feelings with each other and get bonded. She's fabulous. You know, in that group discussion, she made us all friends. <laughs> we, we, we came to a certain spiritual place. It was yeah. most wonderful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just never had that experience in their whole lives. I hope you yeah. realize what a gift you give people. Well, it's nice because you can cry. And yet you can laugh at the same time. So yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's and, all about feelings. Right. And it's not only for older people, like you say, it's also for some young people who do have chronic disease. How in the world did you get into this? Um, I wanted to be on the other side. I was in the ER for many years and the OR, and I wanted to be on the side to prevent them from going to those places. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Well, you should because I mean the, the the whole experience is so positive and so totally positive. You know, you, you take your life and on one level, you know, the the everyday life. Okay, that's one thing. Is call that a, a seven. <laughs> and then you go to the honors program. That's a ten. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's materially yeah. better. Yeah. And and what happens, you know, is that while you're in the process and hopefully thereafter, your life is improved. And it's not just health. It's the total picture, the total package. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we encourage yeah. you to continue meeting with each other after you've graduated from the program. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for that. The reunion. We have our reunion, reunion in August, you know. Yeah. And I you know, to tell you the truth, I mean we're all strangers. The people in the uh -huh. in that cohort were all strangers and yet now with your help we're bonded, you know. I'm waiting to run into other members of the cohort in the grocery store and see what happens. <laughs> Check out their shopping cart. <laughs> well, that, that takes us to food, doesn't it? 
Okay. <laughs> By the way, Michelle, you are a great lecturer. Thank you, Jay. You are so <laughs> crisp and sharp and so honored. You're so responsive. And, and also, you know, within the boundary of uh, b being vegan, you're a great cook, too. Thank you. <laughs> I think the Ornish program has made me a better cook. So, yeah. so yeah. what is it like to be a dietitian? I mean, you, do you follow your own advice? I do, for the most part, yeah. Um, try to eat healthy as much as possible. Um, do have slips here and there, but for the most part, um, since you can feel the difference after what you eat, um, that's why I've learned that healthy eating is what I try to do the most of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the thing about it is I, I didn't really think that I would be able to stick on it. But I did. For nine weeks, I stuck on it. I yeah. Was, and then I, I got my graduation certificate, which I'm putting in COA. And, um, and the, you know, gonna, I mean, is going to continue to do this? This is pretty strict stuff, you know, vegan diet and all that stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I go to parties, and I explain to everybody, you know, my limitations, right. and they, they buy it. And they say, well, where did you get that from? And I tell them, I, I got that from Ornish. That's where I got that. Tell Good. the whole story. I tell everybody. <laughs> I'm telling everybody now. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I have to make a full disclosure. OK. Tortilla soup is one of the favorite things in my okay. life. OK. So I went in here in the building in the Pioneer Plaza, and I saw some tortilla soup. And I, I didn't think, I didn't think. And I, I got the tor a small bowl of tortilla okay. soup. And, okay. okay. And, and then I, you know, I eat it. You know, I love it. I love the taste mm -hmm, of it. And I get mm -hmm. to the bottom, and there's chicken. There were two strands you of slip, chicken. You slipped, Jay. You slipped. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Michelle is going to find out. <laughs> it's confession time. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the thing is that you know, you're not all that tough about it. You give me room. You give all of our cohort room. Right. And they can make their own decision about this. They, they don't have to live in fear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the way that we think about it is that the program um, is supposed to be about lifestyle changes. So occasionally you might slip up, but um, overall, most of the patients are making healthy lifestyle choices from what they were doing before. So that's the main focus for us as the staff. Well, and you know, and you also teach the, the reason, the reason mm -hmm. for it, and the, the biochemistry of it. It's mm -hmm. really important, and the labeling issue and all that. Yeah. And, and I, uh, I'm sure I told you at one point or another, or maybe many times, that, that I walk into a grocery store now, it's different for me. Mm -hmm. I walk in, I see a, a, a bramble patch, a, a, a barbed wire. And you gotta, <laughs> you, you got to watch out for everything on the shelf. You know, I mean, the, the American diet is terrible. I know. Marketing and, can be very deceiving, too. Yeah. So. Very important to look at nutrition labels yeah yeah anyway yeah. that was great i learned so much good. i don't think it was temporary i think it was permanent good, good. so it must be must be somewhat gratifying for you it is. to have achieved a, a permanent behavior modification yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is it's good to see that the program really has a lasting effect on patients how'd you get into this um I was actually always interested in the preventative side of medicine. So I had worked inpatient as a dietitian, but I always questioned what if there are things that you can do before so that you don't even have to be on the inpatient side. So um, that's why I explored um, especially the Ornish route because it is more of the preventative route um, to prevent people from having to go to the ER or get surgery. So yeah. that's my interest. Yeah, and, and boy, that leads to a quality of life on many yeah. levels, many levels. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not a hard price to pay. It's an easy so. price yeah. to think of the, all the trouble you'll be avoiding if you follow right. these, mm -hmm. these vegan rules. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I never eat anything with eyes. Okay. Good. Okay, that's good. That's good, Jay. <laughs> no more confession time. That's, that's, right. Right. that's all I got. Yeah. So, so okay. Megan, now you got you got to be yeah. working with Raylene, right? Yes, yes. So I wanted to actually add to something that you mentioned um, a little while ago about you know bringing together strangers and um, the effect that it has on on you in terms of the group support element. That you know it is amazing. That's something that I love about the program is that. You bring together people that from all backgrounds, from all you know types of careers, family upbringings, and somehow you know when you create a safe and confidential space for people to share how they're feeling, that people open up. 
and they find that, you know, someone actually said this today, instead of being so different from one another, we realize how, how um, common and, and how um, relatable we are mm -hmm. to each other, how many similarities we have. Yeah, in the other. right environment, you can really, yeah. we can put uh, 10 chimpanzees together and they'll bond <laughs> up for right. life, you know? Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, so like Raylene said, we have a lot of fun. You know, sometimes there are tears and, you know, there are things that um, we talk about that maybe are difficult to talk about in other um, scenarios or environments, but we also have a lot of fun. We laugh and we cry together and, and yeah. we just, we bond. So I have to ask you a question I was, yeah. I was meaning to ask, you know, through the program. Do you keep records of, of the dynamic of the group, the dynamic of what people say, what they're, you know, thinking about? We don't actually write down what people are mm -hmm. actually sharing with us because that is confidential. Mm -hmm. um, the only time we do document something you know, other than you participated, is if there's something that's a red flag for us that you might need additional help, mm -hmm. additional counseling. But yeah. other than that, and it that does happens. Occasionally. Yeah. Other than that, it goes into the medical record that you did participate with us, and um, your physician can then look it up and see. Yeah. But I can't don't wait. Talk about I'm, I'm seeing my physician next week. Long, long planned meeting. I can't mm -hmm. wait to tell my physician about my experience at Orange. <laughs> She's Good. the one who recommended it, you know, and I got a th I'm going to bring her flowers. Everybody gets flowers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Then you have to come see us and tell us what she said. Yeah. No, I will. Yeah. <laughs> at, the, at the rendezvous, I mean, the, the yeah. reunion, yeah. yeah. So, you know, but, you know, you say, Megan, that, um, you know, the, the group has its, sort of its own, its own integrity, its own life. It, it comes together, all true. And I've never been in a group before. Uh, I, was, I was in a group when I was a graduate counselor in, in, in law school, but that didn't count. But now this was a real group, and this was really interesting. And what, what amazed me what, what, you know, when it first happened, the first time, is the going around in a circle, everybody's saying, you know, what's on his mind or her mind. And then Raylene, who was running the group, she tells you what's on her mind. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's you're you're part of the group, aren't you? Absolutely. You, yeah. you surrender. You submit. Yeah. doesn't yeah. matter what your position is as a program director. You submit. Yep. Not but there to judge you. I'm there to participate with you. Yeah. 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 You're not just an observer. Right. You know? no. I love that. Yeah. that. That really made it work. Yeah, it made the, it work. Yeah, yeah, that's the uniqueness of it, and that's um, I think the power of it as well. You know, as as staff members, we're also participating as well. So um, I think it also ha helps the participants to feel more comfortable when they're in group. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we get to know Rayleigh. Yeah. We know her as well as she knows us. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's a democratization of sorts, you know. Well, the other thing that we didn't touch on is that we all went through the program ourselves. Mm -hmm. We had to do it for 90 days. So when we try to teach what the program is about, we know what we're talking about because we've lived it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I? Can I do that too? Can I? And now that I'm a graduate, <laughs> can, I, can I join you? To do the <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's the thing. Graduate in school. my cohort, they all wanted to continue. It was, okay, let just continue. Can we keep going forever? Uh -huh. You know, and unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It comes, all good things must come to an end. Okay. Although I told you, you know, I was thinking of locking the door from the outside so we couldn't leave. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what, what, do you, what do you get in terms of the outcomes on this? I mean, they, they come back to you, they talk to you, they share with you uh -huh. how, it, how it affected them going forward afterward. What, what do you get? Well, we get that a lot of times their medication has been cut, either completely cut out or cut in the dosage. A lot of the diabetics, their insulin has been cut sometimes in half, sometimes they don't even have to take it anymore. And they feel better, they look better, they, um, the ones that have a lot of support at home, they tend to be able to continue with the program, and their families also yeah. you know, end up joining them. And I, and I also think that you, you provide the tools for somebody to continue himself or herself. Mm -hmm. you, know, it's not, you don't fall off the end of the world. You, you, you do have a, at least a perception change in your life that helps you going forward. And certainly you have a diet change. You ought to see mm -hmm. my refrigerator. Let me tell you about my refrigerator. Okay, tell me about it. Okay, it's got, well, outside now, it's got, it's got this huge, big protein thing. Oh. Which from Costco, you know, about okay. there must be 10 pounds of protein. There, okay. You need protein. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I learned so much. I'm a guy who never knew anything about these things. Now okay. I'm educated already. <laughs> and I've got peanut butter, thanks to Raleen. I got huge, two huge. Huge gizmos of peanut butter, PB peanut butter, it's powdered peanut butter, it's very good. Yes, yes. You know, safe. Yes, as safe. opposed to regular peanut butter. I've got fruit and vegetables galore, and 
I brought out my Vitamix. Good for my you. My Vitamix okay. is okay. there. Yeah, so. Are you making smoothies? Uh, I'm, I'm just about to start. I'm assembling all the ingredients for the smoothies. Okay, okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> so you see, Megan, this has had a change in me, and I would Absolutely. bet you 10 bucks that it has had a change in everyone in the group Absolutely. because we were so together and mm -hmm. so liked each other. I mean, there were no exceptions. Yeah. You know, if you take 10 people in the street or in business or, you know, in the, in the do -si do of your daily life, yes. you're not going to like them as well mm -hmm. as you do in the Ornish program. Right. And in terms of the staff in the Ornish program, oh, <laughs> We love them all. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I feel bad now that we have to take a break and switch you out for the other <laughs> I really feel bad about that. <laughs> but with your permission, we're going to take a break and switch you right out. We'll switch right out. Thank That's you, good. Megan. Thank, Thank you, Michelle. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
I'll show you how to do we'll that sometime, Jason. Thank you. Please do. <laughs> okay. What does the EP do? Uh, we take her, take care of the exercise portion of the four-hour class. So we bring individuals in. We assess where they are currently, function-wise, how well they can move, how hard they can move, and then help custom tailor an exercise program that's right for them. Yeah, custom being the operative word. Custom. Because I know you're looking at everybody individually. You know, and that's the best way to deal with people. Treat everybody as an individual. Don't that's profile right. anybody. Don't assume anything. That's right. Individual. And I felt that was the case with me. I, you know. And everybody wears these heart monitors, and you're always watching them. Want to be sure that it's yeah. within parameters. Absolutely. Everyone uh, is EKG monitored. We look at everyone's heart rhythm, heart rate, blood pressure, and then perceived exertion. So you, we work together. You tell us how hard you perceive the intensity so we can dial it in that's most appropriate for you as well as safe for you. Yeah. Yeah, and you're watching us. We're watching you. I, I know you. You seem to be busy at your desk, but I know you are watching us. That's right. <laughs> In kindness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your parents always said, you know, uh, they may be looking away, but they have eyes in the back of their head. Sure. They're always watching sure. you. Yeah. Well, that's the, you know, you have to imagine, I don't know how it is in the other Ornish facilities, but this is a big room. Um, and it's got a sort of an ante room, a side room, if you will, uh, where the, the stress management takes place, and then the food takes place, and then the group, group thing takes a long room, sort of longer than uh, wider. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's a lot of action there. But outside in the larger room, all this physiological stuff. Right. And they were nice yeah. machines, yeah. too, I must Brand say. Brand new, yeah. state of the art. Yeah, yeah, you selected them, yeah. Um, I helped. Yeah. I helped, yeah. yeah. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, oh, and you gave me a regimen that was just right for me, and uh, mm. I, I have to, I have to continue that now. That's my, that's my great challenge, not the food so much, but continuing the exercise. Yeah. You know, it's so easy to get sidetracked on things you have to right, do every right, day. Right, right, right. What's your advice? Um, make it enjoyable, so it's sustainable. Uh, before the intermission, we were in the side over there listening on the, uh, our conversations, and you said. Um, something that really impacted all of us that uh, when the program ended, you didn't want it to end. And like you say, we planned it that way, and yeah, the program's by design. We make the program enjoyable, so then it's sustainable. True. It was totally enjoyable, and you don't want to give it up, and you feel there's such value there that you want to recapture the whole gestalt of it. So, you, you know, the part, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a madness with a method, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, it's always a method, yes. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a very well, very well organized program, and you know that there are there's a lot of thoughtful things that went into designing it. Not only the, sing, the individual components, the four components we talked about, but the, the interrelationship of those components. Right. And you were there, Brandy. You saw me. You checked my pulse. You, you nice person. <laughs> you did wonderfully. What's it like for you? Well, it's good. It's fun. I get to see the participants from the beginning of the journey all the way to the end. So. I do the interviewing, bringing them in, making sure that they're safe to participate, and keeping in communication with physicians for the duration of the program to keep you guys safe throughout. Yeah, you talk about uh, make sure that, you know, sort of vet them to make sure they're properly in the program. I was at a party last week, and I tell people, I tell everybody about my experience with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a party, <clears throat> and I told this one woman, uh, you know, that I was in the owners program. She said, "I'm so envious." She said, "I tried to get in, I couldn't get in." <laughs> I said, "Try again. <laughs> Keep trying. Don't try too hard. <laughs> Stay healthy. <laughs> Be thankful." You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, how did you get into this? Started off as a physical educator. Studied kinesiology in undergrad. Um, I had the unique opportunity to go and tour the Human Performance Lab in Indiana at Ball State, where they do a lot of cardiac rehab research. Um, I fell in love with what I saw, and the rest is history. I'm here now. Yeah, works well. Works well. You know, I felt I felt that all through the nine weeks. You know, you were doing exactly what you were put on this yeah. planet to do. I have a passion for. Don't it. stop. I yeah, will. yeah. You too, Brandy. Okay, Sarah. Sarah, my. You know, she went out and got. She went out and got a special loudspeaker thing. <laughs> Just for I couldn't you. hear her. <laughs> Just for me, really. I mean, that was a nice thing. That was the kindness I was talking mm -hmm. about. You were so kind. You know, and, and in the, uh, the stress management program, I guess this is a sort of yoga equipment. You know, you get a mat and get a sheet and some pillows to do yoga with. And yeah. I mean, it's standard equipment in, in yoga. Um, but you helped me, you know. You know. And, yeah. and then I noticed that everybody was helping everybody. 
Yeah. You know, it was laying it out and folding it up and all that. It was, everybody was a mutual, it was a mutual admiration society. It's mm -hmm. not that easy to achieve that in a group of strangers, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's kind of a unique environment. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you maybe go to sleep with your soft voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. it like doing, you know, these yoga classes? Um, well, this this is definitely different than um, other places that I teach because uh, you're with the same participants for the nine weeks, and it's really interesting. You know, there's like the weight loss aspect of it, but there's also the stress loss aspect of it, and you can actually see it come off of people's faces over the course of the I did. nine weeks. I and noticed their, their, their faces changed, they yeah. looked healthier, they looked more relaxed. Yeah. And, and they said in, in the group discussion, they said they were able to cope better with things that might have made them angry before. You know? Yeah, the skills that we teach um, not only physically release the stress from your body, but it's connected as well with your breath, with your emotions. There's actually a um, deeper level of release that comes as well. So um, it's it's really rewarding to watch. You guys aren't nervous here in, you know, in the Think Tech studios, are you? Not at all. Because, no. because if there was any shred of that, Sarah and I would show you <laughs> how to... Uh, Can you practice? Yeah. yeah. Every, together. Yeah, you know, together? Okay. Right. Yeah. Want to try it? Sarah, you lead. Okay. Yeah. Inhale over your head, yeah. bring your palms together, okay. big breath okay. in, yeah. and as you breathe out, soften your throat, bring your hands down to your heart. Good job. <laughs> Interesting. I started out as a long distance runner in college. And, um, so did I, but look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I started studying breathing techniques and uh, meditation because I enjoyed the way it relaxed me from running, my body, my mind. And so I just started um, researching it more, studying it more, and um, kind of was teaching this type of yoga before the Ornish program started, so it was really a nice transition into something I was already really passionate about. And yeah. you do it in, in other contexts also, not just in, in the Ornish program, yeah? I do, yeah. I teach um, a couple of different places around the island, but primarily um, at Ornish and for the staff of um, HPH. So how does the stress management thing work with the other things, with the, with the exercise and with the group and with the, with the food and the, and the, and the meals? Um, well, if you remember the stress management lecture. Of course I do. I'm asking a question <laughs> no. to which I already know the answer. Um, so the, <laughs> the process of stress actually creates um, hormones in your body that can kind of be extracted through your organs um, when the stress response is activated. So what we work with is changing the stress response, changing our response to stress. Um, it's also been shown to increase your exercise capacity, kind of learning how to pace yourself, learning how to work out within your breath. And um, so that's included in the program for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, and I noticed this, the sequence is really important here, right? You start out with the exercise, you know, you shed all that tension you work that you've had. You work, you work it, out. it out. You work it out. And you're focusing on the exercise and, you know, and the, the stress of the exercise instead of the stress of your daily life. Okay, yeah. then, then you go to the stress management and you deal with maybe more mental, more breathing kind, of, right? And, and when you're done with that, you go to the food and you feel replenished and you learn stuff and these great lectures and movies. Okay, and then you go, you know, thus, thus satisfied, yeah. <laughs> then you go to the group and you let it all hang out. And all of that sequence, am I right, is, yes. is a premeditated sequence. That's not an accident. Not an accident. It works together. Yeah. It works together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd, I'd say, uh, you know, Sarah, the thing about it is that I always, you know, from the very beginning, I wondered if this was going to have an immediate effect on the stress level in my life. I wondered about that. Mm -hmm. And after a while, I realized that it was subtle. It's not obvious, it's subtle. If you shed stress, you don't necessarily feel it. But then you realize that your attitudes about things mm -hmm. have changed. Yeah. And you realize that a, a little bit of stress management actually improves your whole disposition, not only for a few yeah. minutes, but for days, 
maybe. You know. Especially if you kind of get up and start out your day that way. It kind of leaves this lasting vibration throughout the whole day. It's kind of getting up, checking in with yourself, getting your breath kind of under control, getting into a pattern of maybe some deeper breathing um, can really set off your day the right way. It's the integration of mind and body and mm -hmm. spirit, I suppose, also. Yeah. And uh, so one thing I took away, I'm interested in your comments about this, uh, is that you've got to be integrated. You, you've got to be thinking of your body and thinking of your mind. You've got to be mindful. That's the word that Raylene used. Um, but it's also uh, sort of uh, connecting up yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you're breathing, when you're breathing, you're thinking of your body. You're thinking of breathing. Yeah, and yeah. that goes a long way because then you become conscious that you're alive. Whoa, what a notion. They all work synergistically. No one part works independently. Okay, so we're almost out of time. So I want to go down the row here yeah. and ask you guys to make a statement to the, the great public out there on this question. Okay. okay. If Ornish works so well for me and my cohort, why couldn't it work for the whole population? Not necessarily the kids because they're too young to appreciate okay. some of these things. But, you know, the population of Hawaii, wouldn't it be good to have an Ornish program run pretty much the same way mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. everyone? There's the camera. Camera camera one. Camera one. Um, camera, so got, uh, wait, it's good. That whoop, one. Whoop. Yeah, okay, that one. That one. <laughs> See, it's, uh, that one. Yeah. That one right there. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, it'll work for anyone and everyone. Um, the take home message is uh, eat well and move right and avoid all the bad habits. Yeah. You heard that from Jason Jones. Write it down. It'll be on the final <laughs> exam. Okay, Brandy, how about you? What would you leave with that? Um, I would say, yes, it is very great for all people. Uh, it's a good lifestyle change. It teaches you important tools to live a longer, healthier life. You like people, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah. That's why you're there. Yes. <laughs> Sarah, what would you say? Um, I would say um, a big take home from this program is. Um, that there's kind of a love portion included in the program. It's addressing the whole person, not just your um, outsides, but your insides as well. So um, I think that sets it apart and distinguishes it from other um, health programs is um, the including of love. I said kindness, but you're right. It goes beyond kindness. It goes to love. Loving kindness. Loving kindness. Yeah. And that's, it was wonderful. It was wonderful the time I spent with you guys. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to get back. And I was not the only one who felt that way. You've yeah. given me a great gift. Thank you. Thank you all for that. And I hope we can do this again. Absolutely. And I'll see you at the rendezvous. All right. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. Thanks, Jim.